Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Work Smart with Nuke. I'm Laura Hitchcock, a senior digital compositor, and today I have a Nuke tutorial that will teach you how to get your Nuke script from a messy bowl of spaghetti into a beautiful node tree. So here are some really easy ways to untangle your messy Nuke script. Nuke scripts can easily look this way, even if you're normally a tidy compositor, if you're on a tight deadline or in a huge rush. The reason to keep organized is to prevent headaches for yourself and also as a courtesy to your coworkers. Often we'll share scripts within a studio and it can be frustrating to open someone else's script and find that it looks like this. A really easy way to keep a manageable Nuke script is to delete nodes that you don't need. So the most obvious ones of those would be nodes that you've disabled. If you know that you don't need this anymore and you want to lock in this version, then you can just hit delete on all those nodes that you don't want anymore. Generally, it's best to use as few nodes as you can in your script because it will help you work faster and it will keep your script smaller and more manageable. They'll run faster on your machine and it'll be a lot easier to replace. For example, sometimes we need to replace the read node. And if you had multiple copies of your read node, like three different copies floating in all areas of your script and you had them hooked up to all different nodes, it makes it a lot more difficult to replace them all than if you just had one to begin with. So best practice in general, use as few nodes as possible. The second way to organize your Nuke script is to make it look like a tree. And by that, I mean, usually it's kind of understood in the industry that we have our read node of our original plate at the very top of your script, and you'll have your write node where you render out your footage at the very bottom. In between, we're going to have a straight line, like so, and we're going to have branches of elements being added to our comp. So here we have our read node at the very top, straight line down to my next merge that adds in my elements. Here I've added in this small matte painting, and I'm going to merge it over top, and we'll have our write node at the bottom. This is why it's referred to as a nuke tree, because we're going to have one long tree trunk in the middle, and then we're going to have branches of elements off to the side, and that will help keep your nuke script manageable and easy to understand every single time, because most comps work this way. You'll start with your original plate, and you'll keep adding elements and so forth and so forth until you reach your final write node. And usually you'd also keep your B spline as your main center spline. So for here, that's because you'd usually have your plate is your background and while you're adding elements on top with your merge over, this is a very standard setup. So I'd have my matte painting and that gets merged over top. A third way you might want to organize your Nuke script is to use a grid. If you go to preferences in Nuke and you choose under node graph, here you have the option to say, show the grid to start with in your node graph and you can say snap to grid. Now what this does when you hit OK is you can snap all your nodes to that grid and it just helps you line them up better. Not everybody likes to use this option. What you can also do is you can turn off the visualness of the grid but you can still have everything snapping into this grid like pattern. So you can go back to edit say preferences. You can turn off show the grid because it looks kind of cluttered. You could say OK but it'll still snap to your grid just to pretend it's there. Uh, and you can just basically pretend it's there and it'll help you line up your nodes just a little bit better. You can also change the settings to make those grids smaller or bigger, depending on how much breathing room you like to have in your script. Um, in general, it's good to have more breathing room that way when you try to add more nodes. Um, it's not so tight that you have to like move everything all over the place just to create more room. So this just helps you snap your nodes into place and help everything line up a little bit better. By pressing the backslash key, you can turn off that setting. Now my node is floating freely. And by pressing it again, I can snap to the grid. Way number four to organize your Nuke script is to use dots. Dots are great for organizing because they give you more control over where your nodes are placed. To add a dot, you can either press the period key on your keyboard, or you can hold down control inside a spline, and you can add one that way. Another thing I like to do with dots is to hide inputs. For example, if I'm sourcing the plate here, I can add a dot here, holding down control to add my dot. Now if I double click on that dot, I can choose hide input. What that does is when I click away, that input disappears, but if you select it, you can see where it's connecting. So when I do that, 
to remember that I've that I've got this connected somewhere, I like to label it. So here I'm going to label it that it's connected to my plate. And I'll increase the font size to maybe 30, just so it's nice and visible when I scroll back out. And that just helps there not be so many lines running everywhere. It makes your script, um, it makes your script look much neater and more organized. Another easy way that you can always try to organize your note script and keep it looking more organized is to press the L key. This lines up your nodes in a nice straight line. I especially like to do this if you have a whole bunch of roto nodes all in a jumbled mess. If you drag and select them all, and you press the L key, Nuke does a really great job of lining them all up and it makes everything look a lot more organized. And especially if you have a whole bunch of roto nodes like this, I like to press the M key to merge them all together like that. And this is just a great way that I always use if I have a whole bunch of roto shapes that I want to combine. Same thing, you can do this with read nodes and whatever you like. Another great way to organize your script that a lot of people use is to use backdrops. So to create a backdrop, you just drag and select a group of nodes and search for backdrop. This will help create a really nice visual way to keep your node clusters or your node branches organized. So if you want to go over here and select another backdrop, I find this just makes everything so much more visual instead of it just looking like a whole bunch of different nodes, it's really easy to go here and label each backdrop. So here I've done a frame blend, a stabilize and frame blend, and you can scale that font as big as you want, make it whatever font you like depending on how big your script is and how far out you want to zoom. And you can move it around by pressing control and dragging around the corners to make it as big or small as you like. And you can also change the color. You can go over here using your color wheel. You can either use your color wheel to select whatever color. You can go over here and drag the bars up and down, make it lighter, darker, any color you can imagine. Another thing you can do is rename your nodes. For example, I can't remember why I have this extra merge here, and I can label that Add Snow, because here I'm adding a snow effect that I created. This also really helps you out if you have a really big nuke script, because when you do a search by pressing the forward slash key inside your node graph, you can delete this, and you can actually search for that node, Add Snow. And nuke will highlight it for you there. You can also do this with any roto shape, so if you're searching for all of your roto shapes in your script, hit OK. Here it'll highlight all your roto shapes, and you can even do that again, press forward slash again, hit enter once more, and it'll find you the next roto node, and it'll center that in your node script for you. So you can keep doing that as many times as you want, searching your entire script until Nuke will finally tell you, tell you that's all of the roto nodes, no more matches for roto. So this is extremely helpful if you're trying to find some sort of node in your script that you can't remember where you've placed it. Sticky notes I really like for writing notes to yourself. Pretty straightforward. This is also great if you're creating templates for other artists because it um, it's really easy to just leave notes and say add snow here. Usually I make the font bigger so it's more readable. And this is also really handy if maybe you've gotten some notes from a client and you can maybe type in, first note, add even more snow. And you can also colorize these, whatever color you want, to keep it even more organized. Keep in mind that you can also color your any node that you want in all of your node script. So usually what I like to do for my plates is I like to make them bright green so I can't miss them. So I usually crank up the green, all the way to the top. That way I always know where my read node is. Um, usually write nodes will always be the same color, so those are always easy to spot. And you can actually change the default colors of any of these nodes that you want, or if you want you can, sometimes I like to label my nodes red if I want to remember something about them, like, oh, this needs to be fixed, fix me. So I remember when I come back tomorrow, like if I'm logging out for the day and I just need to remember which nodes I want to fix, you can color those red. So there's my much more organized nuke tree. I hope this helped you learn some tips and tricks, and don't feel bad if you let your scripts get messy. Just know that you can always go back and clean them up afterward, and I do recommend you do that just to save yourself some headaches, and the people around you who might be inheriting your script also save them some headaches too. 
Thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe if you want to see more Nuke tips and tricks in the future. I also have a full Nuke course that's up on Udemy and I have a coupon code for that in the description below, so don't forget to check that out if you want some beginner-friendly Nuke tips if you want to learn all about Nuke today.